any type of uh, investment in that we were going to do in the brand, it was very important that we stayed true to the heritage of Field and Stream and to the brand identity. Um, and so being out in, um, in the West, so to speak, and not in you know, a studio uh, was very important. Um, and so the reason why we chose Montana, it just so happens that our licensor, Mike Tui, already had a relationship with um, a photographer who shot photos for the Field and Stream magazine. Um, and so we were able to speak with him and, and engage with him and discuss a possible photo shoot with dogs um, for our product line for Field and Stream Pet Care. Everything has to be right. It has to be the right guy. It has to be the right situation. You, you can't recreate this in a studio because you need the environment. Um, it's about the outdoors and everything in a studio is going to be fake. There's no such thing as, even when you bring real stuff in, it's still fake. Probably the one that sticks out the most really is the one um, with the five or six spaniels and the trainer. Um, it was a really windy day, so the weather was very uh, challenging. Uh, the shoot was probably an hour just because of how uh, intense the weather was. Um, and the dogs, literally, they'd be running around crazy, and then the moment the trainer gave them a command, they would stop instantaneously you know, and pay attention to her. Um, and I think what was quite interesting too, and um, was one of the spaniels, um, which happened to be the only black one, was actually Ted Turner's dog. So that was interesting to find out that we had kind of a celebrity dog in our photo shoot. So you do create a plan, but the best work in my entire life has come from accident. Unplanned things that happen and you think, you know, first you think, oh shit, what a mistake, and then it turns out to be something really awesome. So you have to be open to those accidents and open to just, you know, spontaneity. And, um, and the thing is, if you're out in nature, it's always going to be spontaneous because light, wind, weather, all of that affects everything. One of the uh, um, little spaniel dogs that um, one, of the tr one of the hunting trainers was using, she had five or six, maybe seven, um, working dogs with her that they were like totally chaotic, like wild, wild dogs. And she would just make some little sound and they would all go quiet and they would pay attention to her. And that was great, except that unless she was really paying attention to them, they were still going wild. So we got done with this one shoot and uh, or this one segment. And this one dog had a pack on, and they got near the water. And it's, when they go the water, when they get near the water, I guess they really like to be in the water. So there was nothing we could do. Dog runs to the water. We're calling him like crazy. Dives down ten feet, comes back, picks up a rock. Um, you know, jumps out onto the bank, drops the rock, shakes, and you got this really great shot that was totally unplanned. You know, because. The field and stream stuff is supposed to be rugged and made for the outdoors, and here this dog proved it in a way that was totally accidental rather than staged. 